Hello guys, in this video we're going to learn how to deploy an application built in Node.js and Express to AWS Lambda. A few videos ago we scaffolded API service. Let's go ahead clone it and uh, create Lambda Express API project out of it. All right, let's cd in Lambda Express API folder, run yarn to install the dependencies. All right, after dependencies are installed, let's copy that env.example file to that env. Now we can type yarn dev to run application. And if you remember, we created API test HTTP file to test our API. So let's click on it. So everything seems to work just fine. In order to make the API run on Lambda, we need to create a lambda.js file that will export Lambda handler. In the root of our project, we're gonna create lambda.js file. And in this file, we're gonna put the following code. So we're gonna get serverless express and it's gonna require Vindia Serverless Express, and that's basically the magic behind it. This is how Node Express API will be running on Lambda function. Then we're going to import the create server function from the this server JS file, right? In SRC folder, we have a server.ts file that will be converted to server.js file, and it exports a create server function. So now we just gonna have exports that handler and then serverless express and we put the object there with the property of app and then we have call the create server function all right let's save the file and let's go ahead and install the india serverless express the next piece to running api on lambda is updating the docker file we're going to be running lambda of docker image in the Docker file, we have the following code. First, we have the builder where we build the app. Then we just install production dependencies in the installer. And finally, we just run the application. So now we have to do a couple of updates to this Docker file. So let's go ahead and remove the copy from builder, the dist folder. I'm gonna delete this. And then instead of the runner and command, we're gonna put the following code. We're gonna pull another image, but now this image is gonna be coming from ECR Lambda Node.js. So this is an AWS image to run Lambda, and we call it as a runner. So we're gonna copy uh, the dist folder from the builder. We're gonna copy Lambda.js file. Then we're gonna copy node modules from the installer, and then we're gonna have a command to run the Lambda handler. All right, let's save our changes code wise we're all set now we need to log in into aws to create a lambda function i'm logged in in aws console but before we're going to create a lambda we need uh, to go to elastic container registry because we're going to be running lambda of the image all right let's go ahead and click on elastic container registry or ecr we're going to go ahead and create a repository. So we'll just do repository and call it API service Lambda. All right, we can actually keep all the settings as is, right? And we're going to click create repository. After we create repository, we're going to click into it. And then we're going to click on view push commands. Right now, it's going to give us the commands to run to create the image and push it to uh, the repository. So, basically, you need to have AWS CLI and you need to get logged in. So, copy and paste each of the commands, and then after you do that, you're going to see the image. Let me go ahead and do it. So, I followed these four steps, and now if I close and refresh my page. I can see an image. 
So let's go ahead and create Lambda based on that image. We're going to go to Lambda, click create a function. So what we're going to do, we're going to select container image. I'm going to call it API service Lambda. So what we're going to do now, we're going to browse for the images. We'll select repository and select this image that we just pushed. All right, so this is going to be 8664, and we're pretty much going to go ahead and create the Lambda function. After the Lambda function is created, we can go to configuration, right? And we can add the env variables. Let's call it a node env and call it production. All right. So at this point, you need to trigger the Lambda so you can create an API gateway or uh, assign this Lambda URL. We're going to click right here on the function URL and we're going to say create function URL. And uh, this function needs to be triggered publicly. So we'll just can click none. And then it's going to tell us what policy statement it's going to assign to Lambda. And we'll just click save. All right, now we have a function URL assigned to Lambda and we can invoke it. Let's go ahead, copy this function URL and we're going to test it by putting it in API HTTP file. In API test HTTP file, we have two get requests. They're routing to localhost. Let's create the same, but we can route it to the function URL that we just created. Now let's click send. And as you can see, we got the response OK and environment is production, the same that we specified in the env variable, right? Now, if we go ahead and do the health check endpoint or message, we can actually get the back hello world. And this is how you run uh, your API created in Node.js and Express on Lambda. Now you can develop and run your application locally, business as usual. As soon as you make changes, you save it. You're going to rebuild your image. You're going to tag it with a different tag. And you're going to push it to the repository. Now you can go ahead to your Lambda, click on image, deploy new image. You're going to click on the browse images, select the repository. Now you're going to have image with a different tag. Currently I have the same image, so they tag the same. You select image and you click save and it will update the Lambda for you. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.